WSTKS FM Worldwide, digital collaborative learning for the 21st century. Hello again, everyone. How's everything going? Yes, it's Professor Schwartz here once again with the usual mug of coffee and Onyx the cat nearby. It's time for another WSTKS FM Worldwide podcast on digital and collaborative learning for the 21st century. This time, let's talk about the eight ways you can manage your time more effectively when it comes to successful completion of your college and university coursework. The tips that follow are relevant regardless of whether your course is face to face, hybrid, or online. Ready? Here we go. First, when it comes to managing your time more effectively, it pays to adopt a positive mindset. Success in college and university courses comes through hard work and putting in the time. That commitment comes more easily when we adopt the right frame of mind at the outset of the semester. Set yourself up for success by envisioning positive outcomes. For example, Think to yourself, when I get these chapters read tonight, I'll be ahead in studying for the next exam, and I'll also have plenty of time tomorrow to meet with my student learning team to plan our first collaborative project. Visualize yourself getting things accomplished and moving forward, in other words. Next, grab a large sheet of paper and develop a fairly detailed and organized overview at the start of a semester to help you visualize what you need to accomplish for the next 14, 15, or 16 weeks. Your semester overview should illustrate how you get from the first week to the last week without detours. What specifically is due and when? What are key assignment, project, quiz, and exam dates for each course during the semester? Think carefully about the demands of the semester and look at the big picture as you develop your overview. Identify specifically what it is you need to do, and then prioritize your tasks based on due dates, deadlines, and how much time you need to prepare for each in advance. The process of thinking about and writing down everything by hand provides a basis to help you plan each day, week, and month across the entire semester. In theory, you can, of course, keep track of everything on your iPhone, but many studies show we actually remember things better through the physical act of writing them down on paper with pen or pencil the old-fashioned way. Along those same lines, step two, create similar to-do lists for each week of the semester. These will show you how you need to spend your time each week. Your weekly to-do list should include when you are in class, when you work, or other non-negotiable times, and when you study or do your schoolwork. You can easily make these up in a program like Microsoft Word, adjust them as needed, and print out a revised to-do list each week to keep handy. Tape these to the wall just above your computer or to the desk or tabletop where you typically sit to complete your work for easy review each day. In addition, sketch out a daily to-do list by hand on a sheet of tablet paper. Make daily check-ins or reviews of your semester overview weekly and these daily to-do lists part of your routine. Daily reviews of what you need to accomplish create a more manageable workflow and prepare you for upcoming assignments and discussions so that you are not surprised if there is a change in the syllabus or the scope of an assignment or project. Keep in mind, too, that you might need to reprioritize and adjust your semester overview weekly and daily to-do lists as the semester moves forward, depending on how quickly you complete things on your lists or address any unforeseen circumstances that might arise. Fifth, in all of this list-making and review, be realistic about your habits and preferences. Not only will that help you establish a working routine, but it can also help you identify and reduce potential distractions. Get a clear sense of what activities you gravitate toward when you don't feel like working, 
whether that's cleaning up and rearranging your study space, scrolling through social media, or making plans with a friend who drops by unexpectedly. Changing your study location, putting your phone in another room, or telling everyone, hey, I need these three hours to do schoolwork, don't bother me, and closing the door can be the effective preventative measures you need to take to avoid wasting precious time. And if you feel anxious about the amount of coursework facing you, think of your weekly assignments, papers, or projects not as mountains, but rather as a series of smaller hills. In other words, break larger tasks down into more manageable, smaller goals and steps to help you avoid feeling overwhelmed. You should also anticipate and address procrastination head-on before it happens. Be aware that we all waste more time than we think, but it is possible to avoid putting things off until the last possible minute and in the process help ourselves succeed. You need to figure out why you might procrastinate and then develop a plan to help you minimize or avoid the habit. Does a particular task seem uninteresting to you? Or is it a lack of motivation that hinders you? Does the work for a particular course seem too hard? Or does simple perfectionism get in the way of you starting and finishing your schoolwork? Pinpoint exactly what it is that might cause you to procrastinate and then tailor your semester overview, weekly, and daily schedules in such a way to help you make the most of your time without avoiding schoolwork or distracting yourself with other things. Above all, remind yourself that there is always enough time for important things like your coursework. Now, it might be tempting, of course, to fall back on the oft-used line, but I'm a busy student. I hear that one a lot. Well, here's a little tip. We are all busy. That is just a part of adult life. And a busy life only becomes even more pronounced after graduation once your career and personal life take off and lead you in new directions. In any case, you might need to reprioritize your commitments and activities right now in order to make time to complete an assignment, study for an upcoming quiz or exam, or participate in a team project when it comes to completing your coursework successfully. Remember, if something is important, you should be making the time to do it ahead of time. Finally, point number eight. Be sure to reward yourself with small breaks every now and then when you complete a few of the tasks listed on your semester overview, weekly, and daily to-do lists. Given the responsibilities you may have, both as a student and as an employee, parent, family member, or friend, you may well have a tight schedule. So your carefully developed and maintained study plans need to include occasional breaks to fulfill these non-academic responsibilities. Plus, it's also vital for you to plan a little mental downtime for, to rest, relax, and recharge. Doing so will help make your study and work time more focused and productive when you sit down to do it. To recap today's talk, there are eight related ways to manage your time more effectively this semester. First, adopt a positive mindset. Second, develop a roadmap through, for the semester through a semester overview. Next, create weekly and daily to-do lists. Fourth, check and revise these lists daily as needed. In addition, be realistic about your habits and preferences. You also want to anticipate and address procrastination head-on before it happens. Likewise, remind yourself that there is always time to take care of important things like your college or university coursework. Finally, reward yourself with breaks now and then. You've earned a little downtime after the completion of course assignments, projects, and related tasks, or a successful exam. With that said, I challenge you to manage your time more effectively throughout the semester by using these eight steps. And here we are at the end of another WSTKS FM Worldwide podcast. Thank you for joining me this time and every time. I'll see you in class, online, 
or during Zoom office hours if you drop by with a question. Have a safe and productive week in the meantime, everyone. <laughs> with special regards from Onyx, the cat what am. So long, everybody. You've just heard a podcast from WSTKS FM Worldwide, digital collaborative learning for the 21st century.